continue until um, until you come back, and then we'll wrap up with prayer. Um, not sure why we lost everyone, um, but sometimes that does happen. Sometimes cyberspace is not so kind, huh? All right. <clears throat> Hi, Lil. How are you? Uh, I'm not sure what happened not sure what and, and why everybody got uh, bounced out, but uh, <clears throat> I'm glad you were able to come back. Uh, uh, just a final opportunity for any questions that you may have.
One of the things that I thought about um, recently was that um, when I'm at work and I have downtime or a thought pops into my head about this class or some other thing that I'm doing, and I say to myself, oh, 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 i got to write that down, and, I, and off I go off on this tangent. And um, it's not hard to get me into starting to do some research, and pretty soon uh, the work that I'm supposed to be doing for my employer is buried way underneath my searching of whatever it is that I'm searching. And so I, I heard somebody talk about that um, in giving a testimony and I, a week, week and a half ago, two weeks ago. And it really hit me. And I said, you know what, I'm, I'm not going to use any of, any of the time at work to do things that I ought to be doing on my own personal time. And I, it was a struggle. It was a struggle because I would uh, photocopy my notes that I use for this broadcast. I would, I just did all sorts of things like that when I in 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 the course of my daily work. And but I had made I made this commitment that I would I would uh, cease from doing that and be in my own way of thinking honest, uh, even though no one was looking. And. Um, I think it's those things where we see incremental advance and it encourages us because we recognize that we couldn't even have made those little bit of forward strides without the grace and the power of a loving Savior. Because we, we just, our habits are formed. We, just, we do it automatically, you know. You know, of course, this week I didn't have any ink and paper at home, and I said, "Oh, what am I going to do? I might have to, I might have to copy something." And then I said, "No, I'm not going to do that. I, I'll, you know, uh, I'm going to stick to what I, what I covenanted with, with in terms of in terms of my commitment to to do differently and to do better." And so I I share that only to say that I believe that this matter of enduring is not to permit even the smallest things that are wrong, okay? We, a lot of times we think of, of theft as, you know, taking a pistol and going to the bank. But if you're being paid to shuffle papers uh, but not your Sabbath school lesson, then you need to, you need to, be, uh, you need to be about that. And... Um, it's a thing that each individual has to do, but I think it begins to map it where you see the difference is then your character changes because you then don't talk about being honest, you are honest, even when no one's looking. That's the real measure of, of honesty when no one sees but God. And then you can you you can be victorious, and you have a testimony, and you recognize that it it, it was not you that did it, because every time you tried, you'd fail. And um, but through the strength of Christ, you can be victorious. And then the and then the weightier matters begin to fall into place. You know that waking up. You know, as, as, as much as I memorized first, um, was it Matthew, Matthew, um, Matthew 1, no, Mark 1.35. Uh, rising up a great while before dawn, he departed, he got up, he went out, he departed into uh, to a solitary place and there prayed. Jesus was up a great while before dawn, made it was a habit for him, and he prayed. And as well as I know that text, and I know that we need to have relationship, and it's in the best time is those quiet times. Oh boy, and I'd much rather sleep until I can't, you know, to the last second, roll out of the bed, run through the bath, you know, and out of the house I go. And and um, but I believe that if you, what I'm discovering is if you are faithful in the little things, he'll 
he'll he'll he'll carry you up and you'll find new strength for the for the things that are even greater. Endurance is uh is key. Um and because it calls for watchfulness and because we don't know how long it will be, the duration from now to his coming, how long a period of time we have to endure, then we have to be connected through faith in Christ, or else we'll give up and say, no, uh-uh. I, you know, I've been holding on, um, what's, what's up with this? In my personal life, I, I, I remember uh, growing up as a kid, and my mom would say, "Well, I don't know if you'll ever get to college because you know Jesus may come before then." And I said, "Whoa, okay, he's coming quick." Now I'm a grandfather, and <laughs> and I said, "Whoa, well, you know, college been done, grad school, and..." that's when you begin to realize that this matter of endurance is not just taking physical pain but um, understanding that his coming is sooner than when you first believed and that's another level of endurance you get that right this is real joy, uh, Lil. I I couldn't agree with you more, and, and I guess that's why I, I actually pressed my button and got me talking about about um, and just 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 um, giving testimony to God's faithfulness, and I think it's important to do that with each other because it can be of encouragement to one another, and that's one of our goals. All right, um, <clears throat> if, there's, if there's no more comment or question, we will pray out and uh, look forward to seeing you next week. Um, and, um, and I hope that uh, next week will be uh, a big one in, in that we're going to look at this matter of works, the whole judgment business, uh, being judged by works and so forth. Endurance and faith are inseparable. Absolutely correct. Appreciate that. Um, Rianne, you, you're on the money. It's, uh, you, it, in fact, you have to have faith in order to endure because your endurance is for a purpose. And it's the faith in your knowledge that God is faithful. And that's why you can wait. Um, for those of you who already know my story, I'm a fat guy, um, not by desire, but by lack of temperance. And what keeps me fat is that I don't have to eat right away. I can let anybody cut in front of me in the line. As long as I know that there will be food left, I'll be the last to eat. But I'm going to eat at the end. I'm, as long as I'm confident that it won't run out, I'm as patient as they come. If I know that the supplier of the food will not run out, I can wait. And I'm telling you, so is the Christian walk. Was, John, you probably know the text, uh, the, the source of the text better than I. It's in Peter. It says, um, God is not slack concerning his promise, the promise that we talked about that he made to Abraham and is transferred to us, believers, as some men count slackness, uh, but he doesn't want anyone to perish, but that all will come to repentance so that we can be saved. Is it, uh, is it Second Peter or First Peter? Rianne, I saw your mouth move and tell me. <laughs> you you were getting ready to quote it. Go for it. <laughs> okay, there it is. There's Second Peter. Second Peter three nine. The Lord is thank you, John, is not slack concerning his promises. Some men count slackness, 
but is long-suffering to us we're not willing that any should perish but that all should come to repentance may we take advantage of a gracious God and lay hold of the hand that wants to embrace us not just when he comes the second time but to care through us care for us through this period in which we must endure. Paul talked about running a race and all of those kinds of things. They all apply to endurance. There's so much on endurance that we could we could actually study for days. But um, uh, I wanted this to be succinct and for you to have an opportunity to, to share. Thank you again. God bless you. Let's pray. Merciful God in heaven, thank you so much for the faithful people who tuned in tonight. I thank you for those who benefited from our discussion. May the few texts that we've put forward uh, become uh, second nature to us in terms of understanding. And may the goals that you have in our life be realized. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. God bless you. I look forward to seeing you next week. If you have any comments um, or ideas or questions, you can certainly email us. Uh, it's really a pleasure seeing uh, so many of us on video. I appreciate that. Will, as always, what a pleasure. <coughs> God bless you. Have a great week. See you next Thursday.